everybody, it's Mark at the Hall of Flame Museum of Firefighting. Time for a little story time. And today, we have Benjamin Rabbit and the Fire Chief. Benjamin Rabbit and the Fire Chief, written by Irene Keller, illustrated by Dick Keller. Benjamin Rabbit had a friend named Jimmy Jump. Benjamin liked to play games with his friends, but when he played with Jimmy Jump, it always ended up in a big argument. The problem was that Jimmy Jump refused to follow rules. Benjamin insisted that rules were important, but Jimmy just shrugged his shoulders and said he didn't care about rules. One day, Benjamin and Jimmy decided to play a game of basketball. When Benjamin played, he tried to put the ball into the basket. He leaped and he jumped and he threw the ball. Sometimes he scored a point, and sometimes he didn't. But when Jimmy played, he leaped and he hopped, and he jumped into the basket, feet first, and hugging the ball. Jimmy jumped into the basket every time. He never missed. Finally, Jimmy claimed he won the game. Jimmy Jump wins again, he yelled. Too bad, Benjamin, you lose. But that's not fair, said Benjamin. You're not supposed to jump into the basket. That's against the rules. Well, that's the way I play basketball, said Jimmy, and I don't care about the rules. Maybe we better do something else then, said Benjamin. Let's go back to my house and play, and let's have a snack. My mother made some great carrot cake this morning. The two bunnies hopped over to Benjamin's house, and there, right on the front step, Jimmy found a book of matches. You better give those matches to my mother, said Benjamin the rabbit. We must always give matches to grown-ups. That's a rule. So who cares, said Jimmy Jump. I don't care about rules. And Jimmy put the matches in his pocket. After they had eaten their carrot cake, Benjamin nibbled on a lettuce leaf, and Jimmy ate a lovely, crunchy radish. Let's play cards now, said Jimmy. Oh, no said Benjamin Rabbit. You always cheated cards. Let's play Cowboys and Indians instead. So Benjamin and Jimmy played Cowboys and Indians in Benjamin's room. Benjamin rode his rocking horse. He loved being a cowboy. yippee yay yay shouted Benjamin. yippee yay yo While Benjamin was rocking and riding, Jimmy started to strike the matches he had found on the front step. Suddenly, Jimmy started to yell. Ow, 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 he cried. I burned myself. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, dear, said Benjamin. Let's put some cool water on it. Quick, in the kitchen. Neither of them noticed. The match Jimmy dropped. It was still burning. It fell on the rug in Benjamin's room. Benjamin Rabbit was just getting the cool water for Jimmy's paw when the smoke detector went off. Beep! Great clouds of black smoke came pouring out of Benjamin's room. Benjamin and Jimmy just stood and stared. They couldn't believe their eyes. The two little rabbits were so scared they were petrified. Mother Rabbit came running into their kitchen at full speed. Fire, fire, she shouted. The house is on fire. Everybody out right now. Benjamin and Jimmy were rushed outside so fast their heads were spinning. One of the neighbors called the fire department. And in no time at all, a great big fire engine was roaring down the street with its sirens screaming and its lights flashing. Oh dear, said Benjamin, oh dear. The firefighters ran into Benjamin's house with their fire hoses and their axes. Quickly, they put out the fire. Soon the smoke started to clear and the chief came outside. He sat down beside Mother Rabbit on the front steps and they talked for a few minutes. Then Mother Rabbit pointed to Benjamin and Jimmy. Oh dear, said Benjamin. Oh dear. The fire chief looked at Jimmy's paw. That hurts, doesn't it? Asked the fire chief. It hurts a lot, said Jimmy Jump. But you're a lucky rabbit just the same, said the fire chief. Fire can hurt you very, very badly. Fire can even kill you. Jimmy Jump looked sick. You youngsters must never play with matches again, said the fire chief. We know, said Benjamin and Jimmy. 
And if you find matches or lighters lying around, you must give them to a grown-up so that other youngsters won't play with them, said the fire chief. We will, we will, said Benjamin and Jimmy. Then the fire chief put his helmet on Benjamin's head. Suppose the match had set fire to your shirt instead of the rug, said the fire chief. Would you know what to do if your clothes caught on fire? No, said Benjamin and Jimmy. You do three things, said the fire chief. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll, said Benjamin, his eyes wide with wonder. That's right, said the fire chief. You stop, because running makes the flames spread faster. Then you drop to the ground, cross your arms in front of you, and roll over and over to put out the flames. Benjamin and Jimmy watched closely while the fire chief showed them how. That is so scary, said Benjamin. Yes, fire is scary, said the fire chief. And we all need to know how to prevent fires from starting. I'm going to give each of you a list of fire safety do's and don'ts to hang on your wall. I want you to learn them all. Fire safety do's and don'ts. Don't play with matches or lighters. If you find matches or lighters, do give them to a grown-up. If your clothes catch on fire, do stop drop and roll. Stop because running makes flames spread faster. Drop to the ground, cross your arms in front of you, roll over and over to put out the flames. If there is a fire in your home, do crawl to a window or door because air is clearer near the floor. Do call the fire department from a neighbor's phone. Don't go back into a burning building for any reason. Do be prepared do check with your parents that there are smoke detectors in your home. Do have your parents check that smoke detectors are working. Do have fire drills with your family. Do have an escape plan in case of fire. Mother Rabbit thanked the fire chief and the firefighters for all they had done. It's a good thing you have smoke detectors in your home, said the fire chief. Everyone should have them. After the fire engine left, with its big bell clanging, Mother Rabbit took care of Jimmy's paw. You'll be all right now, Jimmy, she said. You're very lucky. I'm sorry I played with matches, said Jimmy. I should have given them to you the minute I found them. That's the right thing to do, said Mother Rabbit, and she gave Jimmy and Benjamin a big hug. The next day, Benjamin and Jimmy helped Benjamin's father fix up Benjamin's room. They washed and they scrubbed, they painted and they polished. I'll never play with matches again, said Jimmy Jump. And from now on, I'm going to follow all the rules all the time. That's good news, said Benjamin Rabbit. Now let's play a real game of basketball. The end. So that is some fantastic information about what you should and should not do, the do's and don'ts of fire safety. And it's also an exciting adventure of uh, Benjamin Rabbit and his friend Jimmy Jump. So I hope that you all behave a lot more like Benjamin than like Jimmy Jump. And uh, this is Mark at the Hall of Flame. Stop by often and check out our story times and other features here at the Hall of Flame. Bye-bye.